Hey guys, Urban Combat Survivor here. I'm gonna make a video here about uh, about something that's uh, that's gonna be happening in a couple of days here. Um, I am going on a trip to Texas, and uh, how fortuitous it is that just when I'm about to go onto a plane, uh, the TSA decides on a new policy whereby you have two options when you're going through their security system, their, their security screening. You can either go through the machine that takes your, pic your picture naked through your clothing, or you can submit to a an aggressive, what they call their words, not mine, an aggressive pat-down procedure, whereby um, they will touch breasts, genitals, etc. Um, now, see, that to me is a classic example of them trying to frame the debate and give you the options that, the only options that are available in this little debate. Um, either we can take naked pictures of you, or we can violate you in a way uh, by touching you in sexually inappropriate places in, in public in front of other people. Um, now, what they, what I believe their intent is in saying, we will be touching breasts and we will be reaching into your crotch and touching your genitals. Um, what they're trying to do is make people so uncomfortable with the pat down that they're okay. It's kind of like the Overton process, you know, um, where you make the, the alternative so bad that this ridiculous thing that's now being done now seems a little bit better. It's more okay. So for most people, it's less invasive that they're going to take naked pictures of you that are in black and white kind of x-ray than to have some stranger touching your crotch. Um, well, for me, I choose not to let them frame the debate, and it might cause me some problems. So on Wednesday, I will be flying from Philadelphia International to, uh, to Houston, Texas. On Wednesday, I will be also carrying a couple of printed copies of the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution with me. And, uh, for those that may not be familiar with it, let me do a, uh, quick... Google search. I should have had this ready, and I'm sorry that I didn't. Uh, but quickly, let me read to you what the Fourth Amendment says. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. What that means is this. It is against the law without probable cause and without a warrant from a judge. It's against the law for them to illegally search me. So, I'm not going to allow them to illegally search me. When they try to pat me down, uh, I'll walk through their little metal detector and when the metal detector doesn't go off, they have no probable cause to search me. At which point, I'll let them know, I'm not going to consent to any illegal searches and or seizures. So no, it's not okay. No, you cannot touch my genitals. Uh, no, you cannot take pictures of me naked in your little x-ray machine. This is a public place. I have the right to be here legally. I've purchased a service through this airport. I paid for that service, I'm going to get on my plane, and I'm going to fucking fly. And anyone who doesn't like it can basically eat a bowl of dick. That's how I feel about it. See, if you allow them to intimidate you into not standing up for your rights, you're going to lose them all. We're going to lose them all. Um, you know, when I think about it, I think about it like this. What if I was going through there with my girlfriend? And one of these people decided that they were going to reach up and they were going to reach their hand into her crotch. Or they were going to reach up and grab her breasts um, to, quote, search to make sure we're all more safe and secure. Why is it that in Israel, the most threatened nation on the planet, you don't go through any of these security procedures? Why? Because they look for effectiveness. They're looking to solve the problem, not create more union jobs. That's why the Israeli airport system is effective and ours is a fucking joke. So, I may be on the news Wednesday. Um, I'm not planning on making a ruckus out of it. 
uh, but I will refuse illegal search uh, on my person or my uh, or my possessions as long as it doesn't set off any of the alarms going through their little x-ray machine um, you know the little conveyor for your carry-on I'll put my hat and my wallet and my keys in there and uh, nothing else on me will have any metal in it so if their uh, you know their little metal detector isn't going to go off so at that point if they choose to try to search me I will simply hand the gentleman a copy of the fourth amendment um, you know that's the kind of thing normally I would think you know what this guy's an idiot he's not going to fucking change anything and I probably am not going to change anything but I am not going to allow my Fourth Amendment right to be removed. It's just simply taken. Um, at the whim of the TSA, which means by proxy at the whim of the President. Um, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to allow it. And um, it may cause me some trouble, but at the end of the day, maybe the trouble that it causes me will be trouble that my son later on down the road doesn't have to deal with. And that's what I'm thinking. So, uh, so I just thought I'd make a quick video about it. Um, a lot of people are probably going to think I'm making a stand. I think we all need to choose our battles wisely. This is a battle that I'm choosing. Um, I've thought about this, uh, you know, for the past. I, I only read the article about this new uh, this new policy maybe uh, five or six hours ago, and I thought it over, and uh, I made my decision pretty quickly. I just haven't had a chance to make the video here, so uh, so uh, that's what's going to go down, and uh, hopefully you don't see me on the news as, you know, a man was arrested because he refused to be patted down and have his genitals touched, um, but I guess anything's possible, right? Urban Combat Survivor, signing off.